I think this idea that we need to, quote, live between our, within our means will find me a rapidly growing large private company that lives within its means. Right? They're all out there borrowing money to fuel expansion. Well, we've got a million people moving to Australia every four years. A million people every four years. You need to build them roads, you need to build them hospitals. And guess what? It's expensive. And those people are going to be around paying taxes for 50 years, but some of them think they need a school the day they show up. Some of them think they need a road the day they show up. So if you want to have an economy that's growing as rapidly as ours, with a population that's growing as rapidly as ours, then like Coles and like Woolworths and like BHP, you're probably going to borrow uh, to make that happen. So this idea of living within our means, tell that to anyone that's ever borrowed half a million bucks to buy their house. Tell that to any ASX 200 company that's borrowed money to fuel an expansion. It is only government that in this day and age is expected to, quote, live within its means. Living within your means doesn't mean borrowing as much as you want and wasting it on things, but if you're borrowing money to build assets that are going to return value for you over the life of those assets, then that's economically a good thing.